Welcome back to Camp Out West. If you're new here, we're Emily and John. We recently sold our home and all our belongings to buy this. An old abandoned caravan park that used to be home to the coal miners that worked in the colliery across the road. The mine closed back in 1989 and the caravan park has been left to become completely overgrown. And now that we're the new owners, we've been working hard to clear up all the leftover rubbish. We hope you enjoy watching today's episode as we continue with our renovations and getting the land ready to build our own tiny home. Today we're doing a long overdue job. So this is the driveway on the property. It's absolutely disgusting. It's got like that much mud on it, uh, moss and grass. Um, and we're actually gonna try and get it back to what it used to look like. So if I show you this picture, so underneath all this mud is actually a tarmac road. So we're at the point where we wanna move our chassis, which is just here, down to where it's going to live. Um, and just to make it a little bit easier, um, and as we're getting materials and stuff delivered, we want to make this driveway actually usable for all vehicles. At the moment, if you use a two-wheel drive car, it can be a little bit hard getting out. So if we're having lorries, like high ab cranes coming in with timber and things like that, we want to make it so they can easily come in and out on the land. So the plan is today is we're going to do a bit of raking, um, use a couple of shovels to try and get off as much mud as we can to start with, and then we're going to use a pressure washer, which we've... Uh, some battered old pressure washer but hopefully it's going to work for today and um, we got from my granddad's old stuff uh, we're going to use that and try and get off all the roots and things to get it back to the tarmac and see what condition the road's in i couldn't work out when my rate wasn't working <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and straighten it out now. So this is the uh, the ten pound rake we bought from P and M Bargains. Hundred <laughs> percent, do not recommend. Find a friend like Howard that's got like thirty year old tools that last forever. Thanks, Howard. Thanks, Howard. So this is actually what's underneath all the mud. So it's actually pretty good. So obviously it's not like gonna be a pristine driveway, but for now it's just something more practical. Morning, so it's about one degrees here. It's so cold to be working outside, but today should be fun. So um, John's dad's come up for the day and he's borrowed a cherry picker and we're gonna be tackling the boundary of our land that seeps over to the main road. So we've got loads of loads of trees and um, some of the branches are touching and leaning on our village's phone and telephone line. So our job today is we're gonna be cutting down all the branches um, that are interfering with that line because we don't want to cause any damage and have our village without internet or access to their phones. So yeah, that's our job today. As if it's snowing. It's our first snow on Camp Out West. It looks lush. A special thanks to my parents who came up to help today and to my godfather Matthew who kindly lent us his cherry picker. Today is going to be a really satisfying day. We are finally going to start taking all of the broken down caravan to our recycling centre. Yeah, so our van had a problem with this gearbox probably about five or six weeks ago. And with Christmas and New Year's and all that sort of stuff, we've not had 
the van now for nearly two months. So it's here. It's got a, a new a new gearbox and it's back on the road. So it means we can crack on with getting rid of some of this rubbish because uh, it's quite demotivating when you open up that caravan door each day, come out here and just see the the mess <laughs> that we've uh, that we've made. So we're going to start now getting rid of some of that mess. So so we can make more with the next two caravans. <laughs> That's the first load done in the van. We've kind of done, well, not even half the van in wood because it's so wet, it's probably quite heavy. So we didn't want to overload the van. And then the top three quarters we filled with insulation. So that's like the fiberglass insulation in bags and the polystyrene in bags. So it's bulky, but it's not heavy. So this will be load number one. All good. We've just come back from the recycling center where we've taken all the wood. So I'm now gonna start taking off all the, the decking from around where the caravan was and see how much light we've got left today. So I just got back from a dog walk with Maggie and look how much John's got through. He's ripped up so much already. Like some of the brambles underneath here that are dead are so thick. Like oh yeah, they, they look like cables. this is what's under the decking. Looks like loads of buried rubbish and cables. So this is what I found buried under the caravan. We noticed there was lots of broken glass and then we realized there was loads of glass bottles and jars just buried. So I've been removing those ready for when we rake under the caravan, we can just make sure there's nothing in the way. And I found this, which I thought was really sweet, some type of wall plaque. And then we found these old Terezo tiles which we thought would be really cool to clean up and just make some coasters just as a little memory of what we found. Morning so today it's going to be a really exciting day we are taking all of the aluminium skin from the caravan down to our metal recycling and weigh it in to see how much we're going to get we figured we'd do it on a Monday to put us in a good mood for the rest of the week so that's what we're going to do today. Okay, that is the van loaded up of all the aluminium from caravan at number one and we're gonna go take it down now to the metal recycling weigh in and see how much money we are gonna get for the full van full so we are driving down now to the recycling center and then we're just trying to figure out how much we're gonna get yeah I mean we've got no idea but um, I think when I was looking online the current market value of aluminium is 70 pence a kilo so yeah it's got to be is there like 50 kilos in the back? I don't know. I don't know. It really doesn't, like it doesn't feel like it weighs much considering how bulky it is. If we could get about 200 pound, I'd be really happy. Okay. It's so loud in the back. We won't get 200 quid, no way in hell. I 
£144. Oh, that's better than I thought. Take it, take it. Well done. Mm, £144. How much are you expecting? Are you happy? I thought about 200 No, that's good. It's better than the kick in the teeth, isn't it? Yeah, it looks massive next to you. We went to Ammonford Recycling the other day and we got rid of the aluminium from the caravan and we made you know, 144 pounds for the, it was like 160 kilos or whatever of aluminium that we had. Um, we explained to them that we had loads of you know, scrap material, um, so the chassis from the first caravan and we were going to have you know, a couple of other chassis and all you know, like the cookers and all the random stuff. Um, but it all was going to be too much stuff for us to just take back and forth in the van. Um, and they were like, oh, don't worry, we can bring a bin. So what they've actually bought, you don't have to pay for this. Um, they've actually bought this massive bin that can take, you know, 10 tons plus of metal. Um, and they've left us with this now for like two weeks. So we can now put all of our scrap metal in here. Um, they'll come and collect it and then we'll get the value of that mixed metal when they weigh it all in for us. Yeah, the one question the person had on the phone with me was how are you going to load it and I was actually like what do you mean I, I, I thought we were just going to have a skip and he explained the actual dimensions of this thing and I think it's 16 feet long and what is it well it's over six foot tall um, and luckily on this particular bin they've sent us the whole back opens so he said give this a, a pull we can actually pour all of the scrap metal in here it's look massive. At, look at the size of it. You could live in here. This is most probably bigger than our caravan. This is definitely bigger than our what caravan. Size is this? <laughs> it's literally just full of um, like engine oil and stuff. I guess from scrap cars and things like that. You could put whole cars in there, couldn't you? Yeah, I guess so. If we could actually drive, if we could park the car in there. <laughs> <laughs> So the metal bin is now here, so we're going to start loading up all of the scrap we've got lying around into it. of most of the metal we just need to take the tires off these old rescue bikes and um, they can't be reused because everything's seized look how rusty everything is so we're going to remove the tires and then they can go into the scrap We are so excited to introduce to you today's video sponsor, HelloFresh. We've been customers of HelloFresh ever since I ordered us our first box way back in 2014. So we were so happy when they reached out to us wanting to work with us and also share an amazing offer for all of you that watch our channel. If you're new to HelloFresh, they are a recipe box delivery service, allowing you to select from 100 different meals each week from their website. You can select from their rapid meals menu, ready in 20 minutes or less, calorie smart menu, all meals under 650 calories, family friendly menu, veggie and also high protein. Then they deliver all the fresh pre-portioned ingredients you need along with step-by-step -step instructions straight to your door. For us when we're busy, we're not very good at making the best food choice or prioritising taking time out to make a healthy meal, which was one of our goals for this year. 
We tend to skip a lot of meals if we're busy and we will just eat something quick and on the go. Especially since we've moved to a remote village, we are half an hour round trip away from our local big supermarket. So HelloFresh means we always have a backup and supply of healthy meals that we can cook whenever we need. We also don't have many restaurants nearby, so love that each week we get to try new dishes from only £3.15 per serving. Get 60% off your first box plus 25% off the next two months plus free gifts. Just use code CAMPOUTWEST60 at the checkout. Head to the link in our description to order your box. Morning, welcome to a dreary and wet day at Camp Out West. So we're gonna crack on breaking down this middle caravan like we were doing yesterday. And as we do caravan by caravan, we're kind of learning what's a more efficient way to do things. So for today, we're gonna carry on with John inside, cutting the walls off in whole panels like this one here. Once stripped, I remove the metal which goes here. I bag at the insulation which goes there and then I take the wood and I'm putting it straight into our van which we've got parked up here so rather than before we were just putting things in piles we figured one of those piles should just go straight into the van so we're not having to move it twice um, so I'll show you what I did yesterday so just up here we've got our metal recycling that arrived which is half full already which I can't believe and then we've parked the van just up here. So I'm walking up with all the wood we break off the caravan and putting it straight in here. So hopefully by the end of the day, um, we're hoping by the end of the day, this will be full and we can take it straight to our wood recycling, which is about 15 minutes away. We're making our way through caravan number two. We're just going wall by wall internally. So we're at the little bathroom at the back and then there's one bedroom, so one internal wall left. But um, I was just framing it to do a little shot for the camera. Step back and then I fell through the floor like an idiot. But um, getting there, good thing is the internal walls are really thin. You know, it's, it's probably not even one by one timber. And yeah, it's just like a really thin veneer. So on this one, it's just cardboard that fills it. I'll show you this little, this stuff. So it's like, it's not even ply. I thought it was ply. It's like a hard board, that egg box type stuff inside, and then a thin veneer of ply. This sort of stuff, I guess. Super thin. But um, like I said, one more wall left. We need to clear out this little back room, it's absolutely disgusting. Look at that. Dog hair everywhere. Uh, we haven't shown you as much of taking this caravan apart just because very much the same same as the first one but um we're nearly at the point again where we're ready to knock the uh, the roof down so we've just got a little bit of the wood we're going to knock off um some of the ply and then we should be able to just knock it over again and then back to peeling the roof off and uh yeah more aluminium to weigh in for money so it's gone it's gone well
So there we are, another one of the caravans on the deck. This one's completely covered in pine needles and uh, pine cones because it's right under this pair of pine trees. Not quite sure what type they are, but they are beautiful. So we made sure that it didn't fall in the direction of those trees. We want to keep them as nice as possible. But yeah, another one down. This one next. So we're coming to the end of another working week after such a productive few days. Yesterday we just dropped the second caravan. So this afternoon we're going to be picking apart all the different materials, loading them up in the van and then first thing tomorrow they're going to be going off to be recycled. As a thank you for watching we wanted to do a giveaway where you can win some of our Camp Out West merch. Yeah we're giving away four of these Camp Out West t-shirts. To enter all you need to do is let us know in the comments section what size t-shirt you'd wear and I'll pop a little size guide in our description so you can figure out what size you'd be. The contest ends in a week and we're going to announce the winner in our next YouTube video. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you want to follow us on Instagram, it's at Camp Out West and then you get to see some more behind the scenes and more daily updates from us. Yep, yeah, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>